Oh, you must be a good block since you're smiling at me. Oh, why would you do that? You are not very nice. What's going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today it's going to be a mod showcase on the Emotional Blocks mod. And guys, what this mod does is it adds blocks into Minecraft that have feelings. That's right, blocks with feelings. And you can see up there, they have some really funny looking faces. And the way this mod works is when you step on these blocks, they give you potion effects. So if they're really happy, you get some nice effects. And if they're really unhappy, you can die a horrible death. So it's actually a great way to troll your friends too. And to make this mod showcase a little bit more exciting, I have once again created another obstacle course. So if you guys are enjoying these, be sure to smash that like button. If we get it 4,000, I will definitely keep them coming. So here we go. The first one is actually the funny block. And to make these guys, it's stolen all around in a slime ball in the middle. So we're going to grab these. And what we must do is jump to the top. So I'm going to place one down. If you step on it, you're going to notice we get jump boost for for 15 seconds. So whenever I step on these, I'm going to get that effect. So I can use it to easily jump up this mountain. They, they are so freaky looking. I've never seen anything like this in Minecraft. Never really expected emotional blocks. But here we go. We'll jump up here. And try to get to the next area. Alright, so don't fail here. If I fail here, that would be so embarrassing. Alright, let's go for it. There we go. Okay, so the next one, guys, is the interested block. And for this, it's an ender pearl in the middle. And pretty much all the recipes are the same with stone on the outside. So I'm going to grab these. And then we must get in the hole. Doesn't sound weird at all. Alright, so we'll jump down here and head into the cave. And if I put down this block and step on it, you're going to notice I get a brand new potion effect. And this one is Night Vision 2. So great for traveling around in caves like this. Alright, so now we must eat the apple and sprint. Survive the Cave of Sadness. It's a really sad looking block. You're going to see why. It's really horrible. Really, really bad. So for the sad blocks, guys. Gas tier in the middle. Great for trolling your friends, by the way. So you might want to make some of those. We'll grab one of these. And the happy block is very good. It's a rose in the middle. So, I need this golden apple. You have to have it or you're going to die here. So, we're going to eat this. And we're going to sprint as fast as humanly possible. All right, let's get ready. Sad blocks, don't kill me. All right, let's go. It's like instant. Oh, my God. It got us. It got us. You failed. Head right to try again. All right, guys. We are back. And we're going to try this again and not going to die. As you know, I try to make these obstacle courses pretty challenging. So, we got to go for it. I'm getting, like, a really good head start. All right, let's do it. Run. Please don't die this time. We can make it. All right, there we go. We made it to the end, and you're going to notice it actually gives you instant damage, too, and the happy blocks give you instant health. So you need to run here as quick as possible. As you can see, you might die a horrible death. All right, so we got to get out of here, but first, I got to make sure we don't have instant damage on anymore. <laughs> that would be terrible. All right, so now we must climb Tired Hill. So this is the tired block, and to make it, it's a bed in the middle, and of course, stone around it. So what we're going to do, guys, is just climb this hill. That, that block looks so tired. And you're going to notice, since it's tired, we've got slowness 3, so it's a great way to, like, slow down your friend or, or something like that. All right, so in the distance, guys, you can see some TNT. We're going to have an awesome explosion after this. And we must keep going, but this one is the annoying block. So to make it, it's actually a wooden door in the middle, which is kind of weird. I think this is the one that poisons you. I don't know why it would be a wooden door. Probably should be rotten flesh or something. But yeah, it's poison. A, a wooden door is poisoning me right now. I actually really like how these look. They're pretty cool looking. But guys, the next one, we must run super fast once again because it's a really mean block. I don't know why you're smiling at me. It's because you're trying to kill me, isn't it? This one is terrible. It gives you the wither effect, and it's the smelly block. You don't want to step on a smelly block. It's really, really bad. And to make it... Oh, this one's rotten flesh. Still, the other one with the door doesn't really make sense. Maybe like a poisonous potato or something would be better. But yeah, guys. We got to get our health up. And then we're going to run through this as quick as possible. Alright, guys. I'm at full health. And we're going to jump and run like a beast. Because the wither effect is really bad. So we got to get through this. Alright, almost there. Onto the happy blocks. So yeah, that gives you Wither 2, and there's some happy blocks here to save your life, which give you instant health too. So once this wears off, we'll climb up here and go for the final battle. These are some seriously weird looking blocks. 
Even the smiling ones are scary. And if you turn this way, it kind of looks like a sad face. If you take, like, the eyes from that block and the face from that one. All right, so let's climb up here and get ready to fight. So we got some really cool ones, and Bommy is waiting here for the battle. All right, so this one, guys, is the proud block. It's a good one. They're both good blocks. Even the angry one is good. So for the proud one, it's a diamond in the middle. And the angry one, it's gunpowder. So we're going to get some really good potion effects. And in here, guys, challenge the beast. I know normally I fight vanilla mobs, and I figured we'd change it around a little bit. And today, we are going to fight a mutant zombie. And you can't put him in dispensers, so we actually have to spawn him in. Totally forgot my weapon. I'm definitely going to need that. And you're going to notice while I'm stepping on these blocks around here, we've got strength 3 and regeneration 3. And since we have no armor, we're, we're probably going to need it. We're fighting a mutant zombie. We're definitely going to need that. So I'm a little nervous. Bommy, wish me best of luck. Please, no matter what you do, don't throw me off the edge. That would be horrible. All right, guys, let's go. Die, mutant zombie. Got to avoid those hits. We're taking a lot of damage. We have no armor on. All right, we got to smack him so quick right now. All right, come on, mutant zombie. You're going down. You're going down, bro. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did he fall off the side? He actually fell off the side. All right, we're taking the battle down here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, mutant zombie. Down again, right next to the chicken. Chickens never die. Isn't that right, chicken? All right, we can finish him off. So as you guys can see, with these buffs on from the blocks, you can actually take out a mutant zombie. And I left a couple down here in case something horrible like this happened. We definitely need the strength buff. And if they wear off, we'll die a horrible death. Don't throw me again. All right, I think we did it. We took out the mutant zombie. All I had was a stone sword and some buffs from the blocks. So definitely really useful. And if we head over here, guys, we have finished the course. So we must hit the TNT. And Bommy's going to love this. So we got this flame bow and some arrows. I think I'm going to go into creative just in case something really horrible happens. Because you never know. TNT flies all over the place. And I bet you that chicken lives. I'm 100% sure of it. All right, here we go. And let's blow it up. We'll see if the chicken actually does live. All right, come on, TNT. Oh, my God. The chicken. Did it survive? I think it survived. How much health do you have left? Chicken? Chicken, cal calm down. It's okay. You only took two damage. And that was a pretty good explosion, too. A giant crater around here. And I made sure it took out some of the jungle. I'm sure Bommy enjoyed that. But yeah, guys, that is about all there is to show with this mod. If you want to check it out, the download, as always, is in the description. And if you enjoyed the review and the commentary, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you next time for another Minecraft video.